Hey guys, welcome to GR Rideshare Adventure Podcast. My name is Jason. My name is Jesper. And Nick. And I'm Ben. You can't see me though. <laughs> it's a good thing you can't. Ha, uh, ha, I'm just kidding, buddy. So yeah, we are back. Uh, we are in 2019 and we are ready to record and we missed you guys and we had a great holiday. Uh, Mr. Jesper was on a cruise to Mexico? Mexico and I was spent a couple of days in New Orleans okay. and Florida. Okay, cool. Did you start the MP3? Just want to make sure. Sorry. So yeah, how was everyone's New Year's Eve? Thanks everyone for joining us. Hi, Laura. And uh, nice to, I don't think you've been on before, but uh, nice to uh, see you, meet you. Hey, Justin. So, yeah, we uh, took some time off over the holidays, which most people do, and it was a good break. Um, I got <laughs> mad at Ben and left all the groups, <laughs> and uh, it was guilty. It, 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 was, it was not the way I wanted to end uh, 2018, but. You know, it worked out. So yeah, we were a little all a little burnout. Yeah, we it, did. We had a hard push for the fundraiser, and uh, I think we were just like, you know what, I'm done with life. So um, it was a good break, though. I I actually was losing my phone during that time because I I wasn't on it talking to you guys. Yeah, you know, I I, I would like. Hey, hon, where's my phone? Well, I'd look and I'd be like, all right, where's the smart-ass message from Jason? Right. Nothing. <laughs> I, I literally left all our groups. We use, uh, and you've heard us talk about it a bunch of times, Telegram. And uh, we got, I have like 10 chat rooms in there. Um, and chat rooms, that's like so AOL.com. <laughs> AIM. AIM. Right. Um, and I left them. I was just like, I'm out. I need a break. So, But we're back. We're excited. Uh, and so New Year's Eve. Uh, yes, Burr obviously is on vacation, but has some stories about taking um, as a passenger. Right. I took a couple of passenger rides. Uh, not New Year's Eve, but, but uh, a couple I, days I before. I apologize. Yep. Yeah, that during the holiday break. Yep. Um, was it Lyft or Uber or both? Uh, I only used Uber. Oh, So okay. Uber. That was Uber. Is there a reason you only used Uber? It was just the only one I had active at the time. <laughs> oh, okay. I, mean, I, I do. I mean, I have both. Oh, I was just, okay. So. I just didn't know if you were a little hurt. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> so yes, yes. No, I was not hurt. So, but um, we took uh, three rides. Uh, it was in New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> uh, we had prior to that we had uh, rented a vehicle, drove from Florida to New Orleans, and that was a nice. What uh, kind of vehicle did you drive? I had a very nice, uh, nice black uh, Dodge Charger. Um, or as, as the as the agent told me, that was a uh, was a cop cop. What was it called? Like cop mobile interceptor, the, something. Uh, well, yeah, because I know a lot of so the, don't, the forces are using. Don't the drive too fast in those, and it was a very nice ride. Was it automatic? Oh yeah. Oh, it was nice. It did both. It had like the little stick. You oh, that's not a real manual. No, though. I know, I know. It had but, no clutch. No, no clutch. <laughs> um, but still, nice, nice car, and it took the ten-hour drive. Very, very nice. But then we stayed at an Airbnb just outside the friend's quarter, and so we did a lot of walking. But um, the last couple of days, we took a couple of um, of Lyft drives, uh, Uber drives, sorry. And most of them was actually pretty good. But the one that took us to the boat was pretty horrible. Um, so he shows up. It was a, I forget the kind of car, but he was just a standard sedan. Yeah. And it was horrible, dirty. I mean, at, oh, no. at least have the decency to clean up. First of all, he has a vibe sitting in the door, right? So he was vibing on the way over. He had his vibe? His vape. vape. Sorry. I was going to say, did you vibe? Just say vibe? Whatever. Vibe? Oh, <laughs> hashtag vibe. His, his vape sitting in the door. So he was vaping on the way over there and uh, over to pick us up. And the car stank. And it was just, there was like old, old, um, like, um, junk food on the floor it was just like really horrible so just someone who doesn't obviously take care of their vehicle right it's just simple stuff right yeah i mean he hadn't vacuumed he he said he had just started but he hadn't prepared for it so now did you give him tips while you were on the ride or did you just well kinda... we talked a little bit and he was kind of just no i did not give him a lot of <laughs> tips because generally i really didn't want to talk to him because he was just nasty he also okay. he also had a, just a uh, he what did you rate him uh, two, I think. Two? 
Did to, you tip him? No, absolutely okay. not. No. And I always tip, uh, but I just not this one. It was just he he was talking, you know, he was had, he had foul mouth and everything. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. It was it was bad words. It was just horrible. And he was like, so it was just no, it was he should not be driving. And he was full time driver. OK, um, so it was just not, you know, it was it was not good. Do You know, when I do, when I take the uh, when I take ride share, I, I never I never lead on that I'm a driver and just I always see if they're BSing me. Like okay. telling me stories, like not if only in my area. If I was out of state, I couldn't tell you unless it was something that was nationwide. But yeah, I was just sit back and listen. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. I'm like, you're full of crap. You know. What I mean? <laughs> now, only one of the three rides I had had actually had a a, a phone holder. Oh wow! The other really? two was holding in the hand. Yeah. See that to That's me. That's the first thing you should buy. Yeah. To well, me, yeah. 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 Here's a pro tip. Not even a pro tip. Here's a rookie tip. Right. Why are you hanging on to your phone? It's so dangerous. Please right. get a phone mount. Right. You can get them at the dollar store for goodness sakes. Yeah. They're not going to be the best, but it'll still do the trick. How many of you guys use magnets? Me. I me. use magnet. Yep. Ben? Nope. Oh, wow. See, I, 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 when I got my new phone, I bought a whole non magnet, but it's not nearly as good. Oh, okay. So I, so I'm gonna actually gonna be returning that one. I, I, I actually, magnet. um, I actually glued my magnet on the back of my case. I didn't. That's they, what I did. Yeah, exactly. they want to put it on the inside of the case, but if you have a little bit thicker of case, it doesn't hold it as tight. Sure. So, I have mine on my phone, so I take it out of my case when I use it. So. Oh, okay. Because I have a wallet case, and I don't have that stupid thick case sitting on my mount. So. That's why you send random messages in the group. Yeah, Jesper. So in Telegram, he'll he'll be he'll start him or, or he'll close his little his little girly wallet case. Get over it, guys. And then he'll person. send twenty five minute don't messages. Don't close a girly wallet case. I didn't want to. Where is Never it? Never mind. Let, okay? let's, let's let everyone see it. Let's no. let, come on. Let's see it. We need to vote. That is a merce. See, here's my wallet case. Oh, you got a new one. Well, of course you had I, a brown I got a new one. Phone. I got I got a new wallet case. So what does everyone think on this? I was tired of having a fat wallet and a fat phone. Sophie uses a pop socket. My wife loves the pop socket. I can't. It's weird. I don't like it. It's. I don't know. It may work good in the car, but I don't want to uh, keep it on there. So, uh, ah, Dave. Dave says he was about to go live uh, to talk about the latest ride. Yeah, we didn't even have that on our agenda. The uh, trip. T Y R P. I have no mic for Nick. Yeah. We're completely dead. What happened? Oh, there we there go. There we go. You're number four. But yeah, I find uh, I, I turned down the wrong mic. <laughs> it it seems like it's exactly like the Amway. Well, you know, everyone, you get a bunch of people to, you know, r- refer under you. Yeah. Everyone hates on multi level marketing. There's a place for it, and there's some of them that are scams, but rideshare driving isn't one of those that. You want a multi, but they've marketing. been saying that they were going to launch for months and months and yeah. months and months. That's why I, I, my personal opinion, if you give any money to them, I don't think that's a smart move. No. So if you do it, so I, my guess is, uh, maybe Dave is pro trip. I don't know. It but, could be a great financial decision. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Hey, when people were doing Amway, they thought they were dumb too. Yep. And now whoever started out, I mean, even in the first 10 years is probably pretty wealthy right now. So I think Dave left us because he's not commenting back. So well, he's probably talking <laughs> Bye, about Dave. trip. Oh, your br- is it your brother, John? Oh yeah, he's got a wallet phone case too. Yeah, I know he's a little girl. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. Any New Year's Eve stories? Uh, nothing crazy. Just finding uh, Jello shots all over my vehicle. You okay. know, just in you know. They Everywhere snuck them you in. look. Oh yeah. And okay. when you're driving, you know, listening to music, having good conversations, you're not looking back repeatedly to see, you know, did they sneak any anything in. Honestly, on that night, I'm like high alert to pukers. But what that's I, the only thing I'm focusing on. What I did do after every trip was I looked back there to make sure they didn't leave anything. Right. Go figure, found some, you know, credit cards and debit cards mm-hmm. on a couple rides. A couple? Not just one. People, keep the stuff in your pocket. But then if I saw trash, I'd be like, hey, do you mind, you know, taking this with you? Since I didn't know if it was from that group or not. Right. But you know, they had no problem with it because it was probably them. <laughs> right. Right. Um, didn't you have uh, some 
A oh, nip slip. Yep, and we did have a nip slip. <laughs> Hashtag nip slip. Nice little booby popped out, but <laughs> yeah, we're not going to show that. Yeah, video. we're that's, not. That's, no, that's, that's no, not safe for any work. Right. Um. But but it was it was my first ride of the night. So really? the night started out like that. I was like, oh gosh, what am I in store for for tonight? Right. But it was a pretty chill night. Yeah, Nothing. I didn't have any crazy uh rides. I was. My money was about, it was not the, the least I've made, but it wasn't the most either. So. so did you have a goal? I had a goal of 500, and I fell short of that. Not by a ton, but um, I'm not complaining. Don't And anyone listening, I'm not complaining at all. Um, I just was shooting for five, and I fell short of that. So well, My goal was party on a cruise ship. I, I got it. Yeah? Yep. Did you get drunk on New Year's Eve? No, I didn't get drunk. I'm, no, because well, he wasn't was messaging us. Anymore. He would have been messaging, messaging us. <laughs> this guy did. on vacation did more work on vacation than he does when he's back here. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were pretty talkative when you were gone. Yeah, I was surprised. How was the internet on the boat? It must have been decent. Oh, it was definitely I mean, you decent. probably couldn't stream video. Oh, sure I can. Really? Oh, yeah. At six bucks a second? No, no I paid uh, $225 for unlimited internet for the trip. How much? How much? Two twenty five. Two twenty five. Okay. Unlimited streaming, everything on the trip. I needed it for work, so I, yeah. I, so you didn't connect. So can you write that off as an expense for your oh, sure. actual? Okay. Do you didn't connect to the boat's Wi Fi then? No, that's the only way you can do it. You oh, have, oh, you, you sh- paid through you the sh- boat. You shut off your. You, you, my phone was in airplane mode all the time. Oh, okay. And then you use the boat's. Uh, oh, so it was through the cruise company. Oh yeah, yeah. That's not bad. No. Oh well. I know it's in Mexico, you know, and so on. But it, they they use all it's all um um what's it called satellite? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. I'm reading your your comments. <laughs> drunk Danish Jesper hashtag. Drunk I was t- I was not drunk. Okay, I I haven't been drunk since I was. I'm like gonna 25. go on vacation. I'm not gonna drink. I drank, hashtag nip but- slip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben. You're cracking me up. I had a couple of drinks. I'll get a dustpan. <laughs> I don't get it. Because I'm cracking you oh, up. Oh, geez. That's a joke for Threads. Sorry. <laughs> Threadspodcast.com. Threadspodcast.com. Hey, hey, oh, hey. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just a little cross promoting. <laughs> cross promoting. Hey, Threads paid for that mixer. Hey. <laughs> as, as long as you also promote uh, GRI chat on Threads. I don't know. We, we do. We do. <laughs> we do. It's true. All right, Ben, you're up next. All right. Ben well, can. I actually had. A puker. Oh, yes. No. I had a puker on New Year's Eve. How about I move the mic so it's not in my face? It was pretty early in the night, too, wasn't it? It ben? was. It was like right as the surge was getting up there. Like it was at, I think, five or six times surge. I had a nice ride to the southeast side of town. I was close enough that I could just hop on the freeway and get back up there. But uh, just as we're about to pull in to their place, I hear. The lovely sounds of puke. <laughs> and it was disgusting. And um, it took about four days for the smell to completely go Can away. you give us a sound check on that puke? No. <laughs> I, I, I can't. And we do have video on it. It's um, true. We, we do. Have, we have, we're working on editing it. So, Yep. So that was, that was something. So it was my uh, first puker of 2018. Was that the trip that you took before it started prime timing? You and Jason had both taken no, lifts. No, 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 no. This okay. was a surge ride. <laughs> oh, we so. should talk about that yeah. too. That was funny. Yeah. So Lyft had this promotion going on that when the um, – if you did a certain number of rides in a row, they would give you a bonus of like $9 or whatever. So Jason and I were trying to finish those up. And as we're trying to finish those up, of course, Uber starts surging like a mother. And uh, Yeah, I got a 5.2. Well, right well here's now. what happened. We're like <laughs> impatient Ben and I. It hits midnight, right? We're like, okay, 12.01, nothing. 12.02, about 12.10. We're like, all right, um, we're out of here. We're going to get that lift bonus. And then halfway through, my phone starts blowing up. 5.8! <laughs> 5.4. <laughs> yes. And I'm in Allendale at this point, which for those of you that are not from the area, it's about 15 to 20 miles outside of the downtown area. It was a mess. And so I was over tw- by Ben's 20 house. minutes from Surge. Yes. So I had a <laughs> haul arse to get back there. So Yeah. And he, he he means he followed the speed limit. All the way. Yep. Right. Yep. Use his blinkers. <laughs> um. 
so yeah, we'll post that video next week. Just a, a little jump in side conversation. Uh, Dave is pro trip. Um, he says he met with them and, uh, he was skeptical at first, but he, uh, met with them and he's interested. And I said, uh, have you invested? And he hasn't responded okay. back yet. So well, maybe, curious. maybe Dave, for a later time, we can have a uh, conversation with you yeah. on, on trip. It looks like he's must have a channel somewhere because he's, yep. his is Dave the Uber slave. So Dave, why don't you reach out to us at team at gmichatadventures dot com and maybe we can set something up. Yeah, I'd be interested to hear if you're pro. I mean, I'm I'm definitely interested to talk about it. So, but yeah, so I didn't have any pukers, no crazy stories, but uh, um, yeah, the smell's the worst, isn't it, Ben? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so bad. And no matter how many times you put baking soda, vinegar, that does oils, work, though. it works, but you have to repeat it over and over yeah. and over again. So I have stains on the carpet from baking soda. You know, I did in, in Megan's van, too. It, but it was hidden enough that it wasn't a big deal. It was kind of under the seat. But, yeah, it does kind of stain a little so bit. So Ben made a rookie move, and he did not bring anything to catch pukes. You, don't, you didn't have any... No, he did not bring anything. What's wrong with you? A lot of things, apparently. <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> That's for the other podcast. <laughs> so Keith just brought a good, a good question. Uh, this is on YouTube. And Keith is asking, what is the rules about posting the videos on passengers? I asked because I have a Vantro N2 Pro. I want to post the things people do. So, Keith, it's totally up to you. It's a it gray depends, area. Very, very, very gray. Very gray area. Now, now, it depends on what state you're in as to whether or not you can legally do it. Now, Michigan. No, 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 no. Let, no, no, no. Can I stop you? Sure. Not legally post the video, legally record in the car. When you're talking about yes. state law, well, it has nothing to do with YouTube. Okay, true. I just okay. wanted to before okay. you. Yes. So whether you can legally record it without their knowledge is whether or not it is a single consent state or a dual consent state. Now, Michigan is a single consent state. And we can legally record it. Now, the gray area becomes on whether or not you can legally broadcast it. And a lot of that is how do you determine the word broadcast. Now, both Uber and Lyft has recently changed their regulations. And I is now, uh, there's now regulating against it. So you can't, if they were to find out and, and they know you're posting content from within your vehicle, they can. And I say can because it doesn't state they will, but they state they can turn you off their platform. But it, or but they it, can take action and tell you to take it down. Right. Okay. But yes. isn't isn't it the point that the word broadcast is consi- is something that's live live stream? Well, that's but that it, that's the thing. That's 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 the gray area. It's a right? very gray area. So if you're posting it after the fact and it's a video that you've edited. Is that yeah. broadcasting? Do you, Don't know. And do you take terms to hide who they are? I mean, that kind of stuff, you know, we, are you posting the video to throw a specific, uh, specific driver under the bus? Are you posting the video to prove a point? What are you posting the video for? And that kind of stuff, right? So, yeah, can, it's, yeah, it's, it's a super gray area. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it's kind of up to you. I mean, you, you do take a roll of the dice. Um, we, at, we all kind of agreed when we started this that we would, if anyone came to us, we'd pull it down, and we have pulled videos down. Right. Um, without, um, we hated doing it because it was a good video, but we also understand that. Some, and you know, and we have taken, uh, we we are taking some steps to post new video, new content in the future, but we're going to do it in a little bit different way. Um, and so there'll be more more about that coming. Yeah, Sophia. Po- said get permission or blur them and we have started to blur them a little bit yeah even uh, if it's just the eyes you know the yeah. problem with getting permission is is they're if they're drunk. drinking <laughs> is that really consent yeah i mean i'm sure it's just as gray of an area as posting it itself so just take caution and and again we're not, we're not legal advice right no exactly yeah, we're we, not <laughs> and, and make sure that i mean also as, as we state uber and lyft can do whatever the hell they want right okay so they may say we don't care how you what, what you did you're off yep. yep this is a little uh producer ben view just to put a legal disclaimer we are not legal experts <laughs> so please consult with your lawyer if you want a real, legitimate, legal answer, this was just our feedback. Thank you for the question. Back to the show. 
Yeah, we should uh, we should consult our own lawyer. <laughs> well, there there is lawyers out there specifically uh, within you know specifying in in rideshare law. Yeah, and yeah, there's a guy happen. I see all the time that they that they interview. Uh, right. I think his name is Brian. But all right, jumping in here, just a couple of uh, little promos. Uh, we do have a merch store. It is uh, zazzle.com slash gr rideshare. Zazzle, Z A Z Z L E dot com slash gr rideshare. You can get some cool hats there that we haven't bought yet. Jesper and I want to buy one. And then some t shirts and some other things. Yeah, you like this new hat? Yeah, it's cool. It's actually got the seal, the state seal imprinted on there. It's, it, they're all oh, made by hand, too. It's pretty cool. Sorry, I like it. And then we do have a Patreon account. Patron account? Patreon. So there's Patron, and then Patreon is the brand. We don't do Patreon. We do a Patreon account through Podbean. This is where you can uh, contribute a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars per month, and you get extra perks. I know, Larry, we've been dropping the ball on that a little bit, and I apologize for that over the holidays. Um, Larry Duncan, our super fan, uh, is a patron, and he gets extra perks for that. So patron.podbean.com slash share. You probably can just search patron gr ride share you don't have to have the exact link it'll probably pop up so check that out if you're interested you know all the money that we get goes to increasing equipment and um microphones and all that stuff the so, cost of the pro of the uh, software for live streaming yeah i mean there's there's definitely you wouldn't believe how many expenses are involved um i mean you definitely can have a podcast with a phone and uh your buds from your apple thing it will work we got we got disco going on tonight. <laughs> this is another thing. If you join the patron account, I'm gonna hire my electrician to come in and find why my seventy five year old house does this. Because there's so many electric devices down here, maybe? It could be, and I just stared at that light and I'm maybe your basement's dots. haunted. It it could be. It could you be. You never know. Right. Um, and then Ben has an update about our fundraiser that we pushed really hard in December, and we had some pretty good results. We I mean, did. We're gonna shoot. We're gonna shoot higher next year, but uh, Ben's gonna check in on that. Yeah, and before I get into the fundraiser update, wanted to let you know that I did post the links in the Facebook uh, live stream. So if one of you have YouTube open, you can do the same. Uh, Zazzle and our patron account. Zazzle, again, is for merchandise. If you want to show off your love and affection for our podcast, order some gear and swag, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, if you want to help us out with the flickering lights and um, <laughs> uh, paying for equipment and software and whatnot, become a patron of the podcast. Thank you to Larry Duncan, who is our first patron. He contributes a certain amount each month, and that gives him access to us uh on an ongoing basis it gives him access to early release of things so there's just a lot of perks that come with helping out our podcast uh we really can't do this without your support so thank you for that all right that's all i have to say about those things uh now to the fundraiser it was a lot of fun i feel like i got to play santa claus in december <laughs> um we did a fundraiser and took in roughly $200 from you guys. So thank you so much for your contributions. And GR Rideshare ended up matching that um, so that we had a total of $400 that came in. We had four people who were in just crazy life circumstances that were completely beyond their control. I met one girl who had thyroid surgery because she had thyroid cancer. And as if that's not enough, she found out she had cancer while she was caring for her mother who had cancer. So imagine the burden of caring for your mom and then uh, finding out that you yourself have cancer and need surgery. And because you have cancer and need surgery, you can't work a normal job. So she would do rideshare to support herself and her mom and her kids. So it was awesome to see her. Uh, she just had tears that welled up and she was so thankful and gave me a great big hug. You guys made that happen. So thank you for your generosity. That's just one of the four stories. I met a, a few others, uh, guys that, uh, were in some rough situations with family and their kids, uh, housing being taken away, things like that. Just really not good situations all around. And we were able to, put a smile on their face, spread some holiday cheer in the Christmas season. And, uh, we made some 
uh, people very happy. They were able to put gifts under the tree and, you know, just had a nice little $100 bonus that came in thanks to your generosity. So it was a great fundraiser. As Jason said, we are looking forward to doing it again next year. And uh, we hope to maybe even double what came in. So yeah, thank you again for your generosity. And uh, thanks for Ben for a lot of the work on that. That was that was and and Jesper too. Nick and I kind of rode on the coattails, but um, it was a lot of work to organize that and stuff. So thank you for that. Uh, Let's see. Next up, um, I want to talk a little bit. The podcast I posted on New Year's Eve um, is called a what's it called? CTA CTA, Certified Tourism Ambassador. And what that is, is, and it, it's nationwide. It may not be in your city, but it's, um, you know, the, the, the organization in Grand Rapids is Experience GR. Well, they offer this CTA program. And basically what it boils down to is being very knowledgeable about your city and knowing all the places to go, the history on it. And it's really big in the hotel business downtown Grand Rapids. Um, most of the hotels make their, their, um, employees go through it. In fact, when I took the class, it was all culinary people actually in school. It was a required class for them to take. So, um, great class. It was super short. Um, for the GR peeps, um, you can go to CTA and CTA network.com. Uh, CTA network.com. Um, and, uh, you can register there. There is a code, uh, for the gr people what's the code ben put in the code where's the code ec 0924192000000 oh that oh sorry it was in <laughs> yeah. oh, never mind yeah. that doesn't mean anything ben will post it in the link <laughs> but uh it reduces it by 15 dollars down to 20 bucks i recommend taking it especially if you're a full-time driver yes the full-time drivers for sure and especially people that do airport runs you're picking up guests and you know when someone asks where's the best place to get a steak do you know where's it i don't know this i know about the right. steak but because i eat steak but like <laughs> what about vegan food i mean if someone asks you where's a good vegan restaurant i couldn't tell you yeah, I yeah. couldn't tell you. So, um, I took the class. The actually the the material that they give you is is almost better than the class. It's I was going to so ask much you what stuff. you got from taking the class. It was fun. It was not like a class class. I mean, it was fun. So you take a quiz at the end, and it's like, Ur. but um, yeah, check it out. CTA Network dot com to register. Um, and let us know. Now, real fast, ctnetwork.com is the national group. Correct. So look up, uh, look up Grand Abbots if you want to do yep. the Grand Abbots training. That code will only work for the Grand Abbots market, I believe. Correct. Um, but you should take it in any market you're in because you can certainly uh, benefit from it. The big thing they were saying is, um, your tips. Yes. You, you can, you can definitely maximize your tip opportunity. By knowing more. I tell you what, if I got, if you were down in New Orleans and the driver got in, you had some questions and he was like, boom, boom, you'd be like, man, this is great. Right. You know, it, it kind of brings back the, the whole cabbie philosophy, like in New York. You get into New York cabbie, if they can speak English, I know it's a little <laughs> bit different now and nothing against that. I just, that's what they did, man. You got in there. They're like, this is where you get your best meat. This is where you get your best drink. This guy will take. I mean, they had like contacts and that's kind of what this is. So, and if you want to see a super awesome website with some amazing photography, go to experiencegr.com. Right. The photography is amazing. Like I'm such a nerd with that, but I mean, beautiful pictures uh, well, about the city. Well, in general, I mean, the, 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 um, Tourist Bureau of Grand Rapids just does an amazing job. Right. There's no doubt. And what a lot of people don't understand is when you pay those hotel taxes, a lot of that money is going to the CTA and the Experience GR, the Tourism Bureau, for them to put on these programs and stuff. I can imagine like a class like this without a little bit of that supplement would be pretty expensive. So (laughs) you get a little pin. Although it doesn't matter when you're ride chair driving because no one can see it anyways. I don't know. It's small, but it's cool. So Fine. check it out. Yep. A uh, couple of questions from Facebook. Uh, Nick's and, got his own family on here. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Ben, ben answered one of them, so thank you for that, Ben. Um, that was Chris. 
no. Whoa. Okay. So now the the other question was Chris is asking if we got a notification from Uber about the drive anywhere in Michigan. We did, and yep. I think we're going to talk about that later. Right? You know what? Let's talk about it now. I mean, we're okay. jump, we're jumping into the news. So sure. I mean, there's not a ton to talk about it. Um, yeah, there's really no link for that for people to see. I didn't. I I ran out of time, Ben. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's just like Lyft. Um, right. You can get a ride anywhere. Apparently, a few people have said it's not quite live yet. Typical Uber pushing it out. And, and although it doesn't say, I don't think it says it's live now. But anyways, it's not live now. And um, But yeah, now, just like Lyft, you can get an Uber anywhere you want um, in the state. I don't know about the UP. I didn't real, real it's, Yeah, I didn't specify. Because I think UP. Lyft, you can get it in the UP. Oh, yeah. yeah. But there are certain areas before you can get an Uber in UP. So. Oh, really? Some, cities. Some of the bigger cities? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. It's about time that they yeah. got on that. But again, the 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 one thing about it is uh, you have to have a driver available to get a ride. So <laughs> just because you can request it in the boonies doesn't mean right. someone's going to drive. It brings up the question again: Are we going to drive more than uh, you know the ten miles, or eight minutes, or whatever the the limit are for the drivers? Honestly, if I was up in the boonies like that as a driver, I mean, I know it's kind of against the rules, but I'd call them and say, "Hey, where are you going?" Right. Like, are you going an hour into town? I'll come get you. But. I mean, that's what I used to do for for the for the people requesting me out in in Allendale. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just I'm not driving 20 minutes to take you down to the local pizza place. I'm just not. Right. I got burned today on that. Not in Allendale, but I drove a little further because it was kind of dead. But. Back back when I was a uh, when I was still a, a a noob, if you will, a new driver. I accepted a ride out there once, and they waited 25 minutes for me to come out there. And anybody who knows the Grand Valley area, they were at the pizza place on 48th Street, okay, and they had to go down to the tower. That's it. No. You can see the tower from the pizza place, okay? <laughs> Lazy millennials. I, I I definitely try to use my patience, and I, I take a deep breath when I see they're only going a mile. I'm like, you know what? They just need to get somewhere, so I'm just going to take them. That's my job. Their claim was they were, they were freshmen. They didn't know where to go. They were brand new, and it's like, okay. Fine. I took them down there, and I drove back to my Why house. not just put it in your GPS and put it on walking? Hey, that's too much work. <laughs> if I just can hit tap a button without putting an address in, I'm going to do that. They were probably drunk, too. So They better yeah. not be if they're a freshman. They yeah. were not drunk. Oh, You're okay. telling me you didn't drink as a freshman? <laughs> I didn't drink at all in college. <laughs> I didn't drink till I was like 22. <laughs> I mean, I took a sip here and there, but... Also, Sophia said Anna's house and electric Cheeto. Why, See, did I, yeah. why didn't I think Anna's house? I knew Anna's house had vegan food, but I mean, electric te- Cheeto is down and wealthy. But electric Cheeto is awesome. I've never it's been there. Fantastic. Uh, and Andrew, so is Anna's house. Actually. Andrew James says he clicked on the link and saw. I clicked oh, and it worked. Yeah, the, uh, Nick got the Uber one to work. I had a problem with it too. It just said. Uh, I don't know. I said something. Well, we know for Jason's, you know, at least in Jason's experience, it's a user error. We know that. I'm not going to say that to you, Chris. <laughs> what, Jason? I was to see how long we could keep it <laughs> I quiet. Was a look of death. I was to see how long we could keep it quiet. All right. Next up, Justin, your video. Um, let, before you click it. So, uh, Justin had an interesting New Year's Eve and uh, picked up a gentleman. I'm not sure where. But he brought something in, and see if you can tell me what he's doing. We are going to share it. We may get kick, we may get kicked off of YouTube. We're, this is kind of a test run, but you're actually going to see it on the live stream. So, whenever you're ready, buddy. Hopefully, it works. All right, here is Justin's New Year's Eve video. Let's see if we get kicked off of YouTube. Do 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 do. No one's talking on YouTube anymore, anyways. I can't hear it. Oh, I, of course I can't hear it because I'm not. <laughs> I hope people can hear it. I that's one thing I didn't probably should have tested. I'm on it. It's interesting. The delay on YouTube is much shorter than the delay on Facebook. Ben's checking it out. Can you hear it, Ben? No, you can't hear me. It's playing, but I don't know if the audio. I'm sure someone. I heard something. Uber.com. Splash, splash. 
Yeah, but that was us talking. I was wondering if the audio was playing. Although that was, was just, for Andrew, the link I just posted. Oh, that's just, uh, that's just music anyways on this one, so it's not that big of a deal if that doesn't play. Now, our news article is on the other I should shut up. I'm trying to snap. Ben can't hear me. I don't see any comments, so does anyone know what he's doing? What's up, David? He, is he just watching it? Like, yeah. he's not letting us know. if Is it playing the music? Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, snapping for you. I'm like, hey. <laughs> All I can hear is me. Anyways. You know what I should have done? I should have went pee while this was going. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. I know. Don't you have your bottle? Oh, that's going to make a wormhole, Ben. Just, uh... Did we get kicked off YouTube? We didn't. Wow. No, not yet. No one's commenting. Oh, Justin, no... You think? You think, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> so interesting enough um justin's camera has the old mount and i had to cut some of it out because uh his camera moved and it moved all the blurring and it was a disaster so i had to edit it out a little bit and we took the audio out because uh, yeah, Jeff, you're only hearing music just because um, they copyrighted us big time. Sometimes um, when we get a copyright uh, infringement, um, they... Who's playing? Don't want me. It's you. <laughs> it was your tablet. Sorry. <laughs> Um, we're good on technical today. We're, this is good. Hey, I worked really hard, so if it goes... It just went again. It's not me. Anyone, we're a look, hashtag new producer, hashtag new producer. <laughs> He's embarrassed. Um, basically, back to the whole minutia, copyright. Sometimes they split the, re the revenue or the ad revenue. Sometimes they don't, and they wanted it all. So I said, screw you. I'm yep. pulling the audio down. So I just put some copyright-free music on there. So Man, Yeah, that guy was doing uh, whip it. Whip it real good. Hashtag whip it. All right. I thought we'd get more reaction out of that video. Yeah, I was going to start singing. In that Do night. people even know what whip it is? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I know what it like is. Like air duster? Yeah, I mean, I actually don't... I couldn't give you the description of it, but it's basically the aerosol part of a, right. of a like... um Basically kills all your brain cells. <laughs> right. Well, it's like the dusting stuff. Didn't they do... Huff well, they too? added a uh, taste to it to make it taste bitter, so you wouldn't do it. Oh, really? So you get a nasty taste in your mouth. It, for the, from for experience? the air duster. From experience? No, not from experience. Oh, okay. You, <laughs> you came out with that pretty quick. No, that all happened when I was uh, uh, in college when they came out with that, with the you, bitter taste. Back so. in t back you, in 2005? You, you went to college? Yeah, I graduated high school in 2008. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. my gosh. <laughs> I graduated college in 06. Oh. oh. Uh, 94. Ha hashtag save. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Ha hashtag save Ben. Yeah, I know. Yeah, say say that. That. All right, you let's. Know, I, mean, I got confused on which chord was what. I know. Do you need a label? You couldn't find. We the should whole. color code those I need, chords. You no, know what I need is a. Uh, I need a, a. I need to show people what I'm dealing with here. It needs a sticky note. So I need to check the sound occasionally, but to do that, I have to unplug this headphone cord and plug it into Wait. my tablet. Wait. Guess and what? And it's just a pain. Can we buy another thirty dollar? set of headphones and he can connect it to his tablet and he just has to take the headphones off and put the other one on? Sure. Will that work? I think we just made a business decision. We did. Any Everyone <laughs> voting yes? Yes. Aye. Sure. Thank you. There we Thank go. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, hashtag Justin. Oh, Elsie's like CO2 cartridge. Whip it. Whip it real good. Nitrous oxide and whipped Justin, cream. You seem aerosol. to know a lot about that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Are you asking for a friend or whatever that whatever they say? Telling for a friend. Uh, all right, can we actually get into the news? Holy cow! Wow. Um, this one is uh, the Kalamazoo driver. I'm sure you saw. 
thankfully he uh he pled guilty uh he didn't go to trial if you don't know about this story it was a couple of years ago it was super crazy this guy was a driver and he uh Went in, around, Kalamazoo. in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is about 45 minutes south of us. Um, I don't know if there's... A, oh, there is a video, so Ben's playing it. Well, but as it's buffering up, I'm sure there's an ad. Five and six. Um, go ahead. Hit play. I got nothing. You got to click the mute button on the video. Uh, forget it. We're doing well today. Forget it. Does anyone else hear like a buzzing noise? Oh, yeah, yeah okay. totally. Hey Ben, the mute button is on the video. On the on the actual video is muted. Is that why you can't hear it? I Probably. Would so. I don't know where I'm hearing it. It's from here. Oh, never mind, Ben. Uh, just blame it on me. I want a tech day. I want you to come over. I want you to sit down here for three hours, and I want, <laughs> but without me, I'll play. I'll play games on my couch, and you just work on the tech stuff. I could probably fix it, but hey, it's because I had to swap out cords to check audio on the live stream. Okay, never mind. It's not Ben's fault. It's Jason's. We all know it's that. It's not. J- it's always okay. Jason's. This, I'll yeah, take exactly. it. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> long story short. Uh, He's a terrible guy. He had no mental history. He had no criminal history. Um, and, the, you know, Uber really got the shaft. When that happened a couple of years ago, every ride I picked up was like, oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Well, you still get rides today that still talk about I it. I haven't had any in a while, but they'd be like, oh, are you going to? I had people ask me, are you going to kill me? I'm like, like you... only if you piss me off. Yeah, <laughs> with a deadpan face. Like, uh, but so he was, he was claiming the app was telling him to do yeah, it. He, yeah, there the was devil. the devil. Yep. <laughs> but clearly he had uh, – I'm, I'm so glad that he just pled guilty to it. I mean, did he really think he's going to go to trial and get off on it? And he's probably like, you know what? I'm a terrible person, and I'm just going to go to prison for the rest of my well, life. Well, that reminds me of an article I read earlier today about a truck driver who had gotten in an accident with a bus full of hockey players. Mm-hmm. And he ended up killing 16 Ooh. and injuring, I want to say, five five or whatever. And anyways, he decided that he didn't want to go to trial, and he just wanted it to be done and over yeah, with. So he guilt. just pled guilty, so it's done and over with now. Yeah. I mean, it's not done and over with. I well, mean, everyone's still affected. But I'm yeah, just least, saying it's not going to go through the legal Well, it's, it's just bringing the families through all that. That's, that's, in, that's exactly what he said. Yeah, yeah, that's a terrible thing. So. Uh, I don't know. That's about the extent of the story on that. But I'm just glad he pled guilty. And mm-hmm. he didn't kill any passengers. He only killed people in between, which is very bizarre. Yeah. Like, I don't know. He he clearly snapped. And the only reason it got so... If you haven't noticed, if you put the word Uber anywhere in a story, it gets it gets clicks. Right. You know, anything Uber driver, and you're going to get a click regardless of the story. So... Um, all right. Next up is <laughs> the dr- drunk dentist immediately regrets acting a fool after seeing dash cam video. So it's only 55 seconds. The audio is a little quiet on this, but there is uh, swearing in this video. There is swearing in this video, and this one should show up uh, on your screen. What's up? Oh, I don't need to see it. No, I already good. watched it. <laughs> Yeah, that is one. I'll wait till it's done. Can you let me know when it's done, Ben? Thanks. What? Stomach? Yeah. It probably is me. We're not going to go into that conversation. <laughs> we done? So on the tech end of it, we're putting these videos on so you guys can watch, but for whatever reason, we can't uh, 
we can't hear him through our headphones, so I'll have to work on that too. But this guy was a dentist. He, I don't know what, what is the. There was another passenger with them beforehand. So he dropped off a different passenger okay. and then drove this dentist to his house. The, the bottom line was that anyone that's just listening, he uh, didn't like the dash cam video. Not at all. But I didn't hear in that. I thought he supposedly threatened him with a gun. Uh, that part of the video they did not play. Okay, that's what I thought because I read the article and it said they he didn't show he didn't brandish it, but he said he was gonna go get his gun or something. Yeah, and then beat his ass. <laughs> right. I want to know. I kind of want to reach out to the guy and see what happened after that because the video stopped. Did he? I mean, clearly he kept the. I'm the gonna footage. guess he got out of the vehicle and the driver drove off. But yeah, I would have. You know, I'd have punched that I'd, gas. I'd be like, okay, I'll give you the dash cam. Wait till so, he gets out and then. I 100% I'd have punched it. He was drunk. He didn't know what was going on. This is the only thought I thought about our dash cam, and we do promote the N2 Pro or whatever. It does not have cloud storage on that. So if someone did grab your dash cam, you're pretty much shit out of luck. Right. I mean, you, I mean, there's just nothing there unless you. Not in the in the moment, it won't happen. Yeah, if you switch the card out after but they left. The nice thing is, is it'll still record even though it's not connected to the power supply. It'll the battery will still stay on, so they'd have to know how to go into the camera and actually turn it off. Yeah, but if they take it and smash it into a million pieces, you don't have the file. Chances are the SD card will be okay. True. Okay, they take it, they ship it to Peru. You're probably not going to get it. No, I know. that's the first city that or Why country. Would they ship it to Peru? I don't know. It's the first thing that pops. He's just into making my head. up scenarios. Yeah, scenarios. So I was weird. Yep. Peru. So, Peru. Okay. Here, here's a geography lesson for you. Not for me. Is Peru a country or a city? It's a city. In what country? Ben, you don't know either. I'm gonna look. He just rolled his eyes at me. He doesn't okay. know either. Peru, Indiana. There you go. Did you see it? Is it, in it is a country in it's West South Southern America. America. South America. South America. Yeah. South America. Oh, it's in the Machu middle of Pichu. It's the middle of Bolivia and the Ecuador. Got the Incas. Anyways, uh, next up, this lady starts her own rideshare service company in West Plains. This one's cool. I Is like it? this one. Um, but she's. U- I saw the logo. She's using the Uber Lyft logo. Yeah, but it's called Go For It. Um, go For It? Go For, like Go For Oh, it. Go For, like an actual yeah. Go For. Yeah. Okay. Um, and basically what she did was she's not going to charge the riders anymore just based on, you know, the time of night or if it's, you know, Uber and Lyft would be surging like crazy. She's just going to charge them the base Fair. Yeah, I think, I think she $10 said it was, from it was out of the city or something. Yeah, it was like $8 before midnight and $10 yeah. after midnight. And she actually brought on other drivers to help as well. She, I think it said she brought on five other drivers. Is she licensed? Is she uh, have insurance? Suppo- according to the article, yes. Okay. But Well, it's the same problem as all the other starts. Like, yeah. It's, it's not a problem finding drivers. Right. It's a problem finding riders. Right. Well... There's two problems. The steady fare, I think, had a great idea, but he couldn't provide insurance. You had to be well, you. Yes. You had to be have your own commercial. insurance. It did state in the article that she's not doing it for money, and she doesn't even know if she's taking a loss on doing it. Or oh, not. she's taking a loss. If she's charging ten dollars or eight dollars. Okay. I mean, well, but it, oh, but it's it, a small city, though. Is true. what the article had stated. Yeah. They said close knit community, so she'll probably do pretty good because she said she's lived there forever. Yeah. And probably knows everyone, so yeah. But it's still the same problem. Is I mean, so she might be, she might do okay, but it it's spreading it out to enough people to. I mean, we all know the biggest issue with with ride sharing is if we sit still. But if you're in a small, tight knit community, are you going to use Uber? Are you going to go for the lady who's local? Well, I don't know. But I kind of agree on Nick a little bit. You you can't. Well, and she you might can't. do fine in her area, right? But. How do you? You can't. It, it won't ever scale. Steady fare would have worked if he if he had done it before Uber got to Grand Rapids. No. Yes, I, it would have. No. Yeah, I think so. No. It would have. Yes, it would have. I think it would have been Uber would have came, but I think it would have been Steady fare and Uber. I don't think it would have been. I think Lyft and maybe I they would. I disagree a hundred percent. Uber has so much power 
Yeah. Uber would have entered the market and kicked steady fares behind. I'm sorry, that's that's just my opinion. Yeah. I I don't think you I I don't I think there would have been uh you know, I definitely think it would have. All right, been yeah. Why don't we play the video now? Okay. Fine. We've been dragging on for a little bit. <laughs> Again, we won't be able to hear it. That's one thing we need to work on. I never thought about that after I was like, "Oh, cool! I can put it on the live stream." <laughs> like, sorry. See what we should. What we should. I think he turned our mic. Oh, he turned it back on. What? I think he turned our mics back on. I don't know. He can't hear us. Oh, he can't hear us. We're in trouble. <laughs> Turn the mics off so I can fart. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn them all off, though. and we're back we had oh wow sorry that was a little hot um very hot um yeah we uh had to take a uh a, a mute break Jesper had some gas so um this one is about <laughs> like we talked about i don't even need to talk about it anymore <laughs> sorry <laughs> You weren't paying attention, so I thought you'd throw you I, under the bus. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is a company around here that does that too. Um, my only thing about that is just don't use Uber and Lyft's logo. I think it's you're kind of flirting with disaster. I mean, right? Oh, yeah, any kind of. You can really just make a logo. Um, I actually recommended them on on one of their posts. I said go to Fiverr for ten bucks, you can get a logo made, right. and you own it. So. Um, but yeah, this is a good idea. If it works in her area, great. Um, Jesper hates everything other than Uber and Lyft. No, no he doesn't even like Lyft. Anything. He hates Steady Fair. He hates hate everything it. local. We've heard that. Yeah. You heard it here. Hashtag doesn't support local. Uh, doesn't support local business. Oh, he's typing. Oh, he's he's <laughs> writing a sternly earned, sternly earned it, sternly worded email. Well, hate the other OGs. <laughs> <laughs> At the other OGs. Danish hates local. <laughs> ben got to it first. Uh, I'm no, having too much po- fun. Post it first. I don't hate it. I just disagree. Oh, I with know. I'm just teasing with, you. I, yeah, it's just business. It's, I right, get it. It's not going to work. It's just business. All right. Next up, uh, why it is important to understand insurance while driving for Uber and Lyft? Uh, I, I wish I could listen to this video. I want to listen to it because when I previewed it, excuse me, when I previewed it. He talked about Lyft not covering him at all. No, he actually in the video. This is what I. This is my. Personal what opinion. you took from it? Yeah, what I took from it is he's complaining that he has to pay. You the know, deductible. the deductible. Deductible. He says, "Well, oh, I can't Lyft pay it all. Oh, Why be, do I have to pay it? Oh, because it, there was criminal involvement yeah. in it. Yeah. No, if that's the case, then sorry, buddy. You signed up for the $2,500 deductible. And that's why understanding the insurance is very, very important. Right. (laughs) So let's watch this video, and then we'll talk about um, our podcast about insurance.
All right. right. So what does everyone think about that um, as far as insurance goes? Um, do you all have the extra insurance? I do not. You don't? What? No. Why not? I don't, I don't drive around with my app online. So you, Jason just had a stunned <laughs> look I'm on his like, face like, what? We've, we've gone over this before. We have? We have talked about okay, it Okay, explain it to me. I do not drive around with my app on looking for rides. I stay offline until I get to where I'm at, and then I go online to get rides. Airport rides, I only do airport rides. There's no way you do that 100% of the time. All right, 99 What about New Year's Eve? Time. What about New Year's Eve? I was getting ride requests while on rides. All right, dude. We do not condone or recommend <laughs> uh, Nick's stance on... Yeah, you don't need to condone it or recommend it but well no i'm just saying i don't i think it's a dumb move i mean it's freaking a hundred dollars extra a year why wouldn't you spend that well my insurance doesn't offer that oh i so. yeah i switch somebody that does i switched yeah aggressive i mean they all who do you have uh geico i think oh. geico has it not here not, not here sure. they don't not who wants sure. to fact check it go well, we, i already can it, fact check it for you they it, don't it's in the it's in the podcast so, um, anyways, I, I thought there was other other reasons for having it as well. I mean, obviously, it is the the three markets, but in a, the three areas as we talked about the three periods. Periods, was, yeah. yeah. But there's there's other reasons for why you really should have it, anyways. I mean, it just it just for how inexpensive it is, the more coverage you have, is the, the better. The other thing that came out of that is also you run the risk, um, you know, because. You're still using your vehicle as a commercial vehicle, which means you run the risk. Uh, if you're in an accident of... of it'll deactivate you. Exactly. Or, yeah, your insurance will deactivate you because you're using it for hire. Yes. And and that was the whole thing he was mentioning is, and now you are, you're running the risk of not being able to... Uh, they won't... They will refuse to renew you, and you have essentially... You know, essentially it's insurance fraud. And and other people might not. That's a good point. I never thought about the actual accident. I never. I was right. more thinking about. I was never thought about that your insurance company could cancel your insurance. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Right, but more than that, you are going to be marked down also as a at risk driver. As an at risk, right? Yeah, and and you may have problems finding other people wanting to insure you. And honestly, look around, reach out to farmers. You may be getting a. Be- you could be getting a better deal. But anyways, it's you know. I had not farm discussion we need to have, but it's, yeah, it is. We need to it's say important. Well, not, it's not important. To, not to throw Nick under the bus. No, no, no. 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 I already did no. that. Um, it is super important right. personally to I think to have that. But um, yeah, that's right. a good point. But we did do a podcast on that. I I believe Ben already shared that. Um, we sat down with farmers, actually my agent, and had a chat about it. Um, it was a good, it was a good podcast. It, it, it stayed relatively light. It wasn't too deep. Um, but yeah, so check it out. You already shared that, right? I did. Or somebody did. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Oh, next up Lyft, amp and Uber beacon come become illegal in some States. Uh, I think this is just in Kansas city. Uh, just this video, is. just this video is, but Ben's going to play that. And uh, we'll talk about it.
So what does everyone think about the lights? Um, Jeff, you're dead to me. I have <laughs> lights in my car. I think they're done. Um, I have the Uber and Lyft. Um, it's just an it's just an LE. It's not like I don't know. I wish I had a good example, but it's just there are placards that kind of light up a little bit. So um, I didn't mean that yours was done. I, just I think don't care. The lights you, in general. Yeah, it's dumb. your opinion. That's okay. It it doesn't bother me. Um, I love it except for um, bar clothes because everyone thinks I'm their Uber. In fact, I've even turned it off at times when it's like terribly busy um, just because people, although I keep my doors locked, so that ends it too. Yeah. Do you think you don't like the lift amp either? No. I, I've I never don't. earned it. It could so. be because I'm jealous because, you know, I hit my 175 rides and they never sent me it. But. Well, it used <laughs> it, it changed it. Yeah. You know, you got Now it's a gold rewards per. Yeah. You have to hit 250 rides in a th- three month period. Three month believe, period. Yep. Yeah. So that's not going to happen. Um, not sure what Ben's doing, but it's distracting me. Um, and plus, uh, everyone has them now. It made you realize how many lift drivers were in Grand Rapids. What do you mean? Oh, With yes. The amps. Well, not only that, that they've hit that goal of 250 rides. I mean, are you driving pure Lyft? I mean, like, that's a lot of rides. That is a lot of rides. I saw a ton of them on New Year's Eve. Like, every time I turned around, um, I I saw that Lyft amp. So I don't think I would get it. Um, I'm not I'm not Lyft specific. How about you, Jesper? I wouldn't get the amp. I had the amp. Can you use it? Um, that was great. Oh my gosh, you are so He hilarious. was he was so in, engrossed <laughs> in whatever his uh com, I, on his computer. I, I mean, yeah, so no. I, hey Jake, well, I was using it. Time out, Jake I, D. I would use it. Jake D on YouTube says yo yo. Yo yo, what's up Jake D? What's up Jake D? Oh yeah, you put it up there. That's cool. It's not back feeding? It's muted. Oh, okay. But I was using the amp and I would use it again. Would you? Mhm. Even if you drove Uber too, well, yeah, I you know. well, I mean, the, I know you do, but I mean, okay, yeah, all right. Uh, last article we have, I almost tried to click on it on my tablet. That was weird. <laughs> I was like dragging the mouse over. I was like, why isn't it going over on my tablet? Um, a former American Idol host made fun of rideshare driving. You know, this was just in the news recently with the guy from the Cosby Show who was working at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Um, I don't understand people. He's making an honest living. Who cares? I mean, he was on the first season of American Idol. It's not like he was, you know. Well, even if, who cares what he did before? Right. He's providing for his family. It's what works for his family. I mean, the top one half percent are making money in Hollywood. The rest, everyone else is doing side hustles. Right. So, I mean, I don't know if you want to click on the article, Ben, um, so we can see it. But uh, it's there's not a video there. I just was curious um, what exactly they said. So, loading. Yeah, to sum it up. Loading. Oh, I'll wait till it loads and then I'll sum it up. <laughs> you can sum it up whatever you want. Sum uh, it up. Basically, he's going through a divorce and all that stuff. So, this is all kind of got brought into the limelight that he's an Uber driver and he used to host American well, hey, Idol. What did we talk about earlier? Uber gets the clicks. If he yep. was, I mean, maybe if he was working at Perkins, is Perkins still in business? Maybe know, not around Grand <laughs> Rapids. <laughs> ben, I got Ben on that one. I loved Perkins. Yeah, there was one in Jenison. There was one on uh, the old Mister Fables. Uh, the little, why can't I think of the name? Alpine the Spout Line. The one on Alpine too. Yeah, uh, whatever's near the target. I love their claw machines that they had in there. <laughs> oh yeah, those are amazing. <laughs> My favorite part. There's claw machines at uh, B Dubs. Yeah, there is. Is the article not loading? That's all right. I got it here. Looks like admitted divorce in a custody battle. Former American Idol host Brian Dunkelman defended now being an Uber driver. TMZ. I mean, are they not the worst people in the world? Seriously. But he's going through a divorce. Leave him the hell alone. Yeah. He's got enough going on. Why does he have to worry about you know what he's doing? For money. Yeah. You know? his, At least he's making money for his kids. Yeah. His comment was, I chose to stop doing stand-up comedy and started driving an Uber so I could be there for my son as much as I needed after our life as we know it is was destroyed. I don't know. Somebody cheated on something in there? I don't know. I'm going to guess uh, it's not pretty. That's... <laughs> 
Why does how does TMZ has this? Also reported how much Dunkelman had in his checking account. How do you even get that? Like, isn't that private information? It's probably part of the divorce. Oh, uh, yeah. Could be. I don't know. So anyways. But again, who cares? He's he's doing what he needs to do to be good by his family. Right. So what does Elsie say? Am I saying her name right? Elsie? Yeah, probably. My friend from Traverse City, Lyft doesn't offer it there. So there's the probably amp. the amp. Lyft doesn't offer the amp there? I don't know. Why wouldn't they? Different market. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got that, Ben. Thanks. (laughs) I'm here all night. (laughs) Tip your producer. No. Hey, just so you know, the audio issues earlier is my fault. 100% my fault. Don't try and make up for ripping on Ben. No, I'm serious. It was. I got everything else ready on the other computer. It's 100% my fault. So everyone heard it. I love Ben. (laughs) So, t- uh, tip, I love you too. Tip I time. Guess. Why don't you take the tip, Nick? Okay. We keep seeing this more and more and more. But before I get into that, I want to talk about our uh, good old dash cam, the Van True N2 Pro that we use. Um, you know, crystal clear video and sound. Uh, it's got the locking feature to save the video if you get a good video or, you know, you need a video to lock in to the SD card. It has that feature, which some of the cheaper versions do not. Um, it can hold up to 128 gigabyte SD card, which you know helps, especially if you're out there driving for hours and hours and hours. Um, Even think it's more these days. I think it, with the latest <laughs> version, it can more than 128. Hey, Jesper, then you just take it over. No, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> He's doing a mm-hmm. sponsored spot. You got to let him do it. Okay, go fine. ahead, Jesper. <laughs> no, no, just finish it. <laughs> That was pretty much it. But um, anyways, for the actual tip, well, actually, according to Jesper, it can take higher now. Do you SD really need card. more than 128 gigabytes? No. Okay. Probably not. Shut yeah, up. Then shut your mouth. What's Justin's hashtag take the tip? Because <laughs> you said something about <sighs> tipping Ben. Remember, oh, gosh, this is delayed please. on Facebook. No, I know it is, but I can't even keep up 15 <laughs> seconds. All right, we've been seeing more and more posts about this. Um, Basically, this is our tip. When a rider leaves an item in your vehicle, just return it, you know, that day or that night. I know it might be an inconvenience for you or whatever, but just make sure you try and return it. Um, Get a hold of the rider at all costs. Because if you don't, chances are, if it's a phone, they're going to show up at your door with the police filing a police report that you stole their phone. Okay. Or just showing up at your house. So Ben has had that happen. Um, rookie. I know. It was a total rookie mistake. No, but somebody... Well, but if you don't find it, though, how... Yeah, you're, that's true. You're right. If you it don't find it. It was way down in the door panel. Like, I don't... Yeah. I don't Did you look there. through there your vehicle no after you were there? done driving for the night? Right. All right. Answer yes or no. Raise I, of hands. How many people inspect their vehicle at the end of the night? Well, Every I'm time. raising my hand. I'm not... I mean, I had I had a wallet that was lost in the back of my car for two weeks. <laughs> they didn't call for what? it. No, they did, and I didn't find it. And then finally, after two weeks, my wife said, "Hey, did you find this wallet down under?" <laughs> and I reached out to the guy. I, I found I found a college card in there, so I, I contacted the college, and the college put me in contact with him. I gave him his wallet, so it's fine. But it was gone. I didn't find the wallet. That I didn't know. That's hilarious. So, two weeks. Yeah. But he called me the next day and said, hey, I think I forgot my wallet. I went out and I, find, and I went through my car. It, it wasn't there. I couldn't find it. Danish eyes. It had slid into my in one of the compartments of the store and go or something like that. I just, yeah. In a minivan, there's 17,000 places <laughs> things can go in there. So or you don't true. even have to, you know, get in touch with the rider. You can go turn it into the hub, you know? Yeah. And, right. Somebody in our, maybe not this four group, but in our bigger group, since Ben had someone come to their house or something, I don't know if it was Justin or right. whatever. But and also remember, you can still file for the forgot item fee after the fact. Yeah, yeah. Here's our tip on that, um, and then if you want it, yeah. Um, I actually don't file it until after I give it back because they may give you twenty bucks, and then I'm like, all okay. right, <laughs> I'm not going to file it. You know what right. I mean? Because if they're going to give you money, you can be a douche canoe and file it after you get the cash, and then you're basically stealing. So just what if you want to be a douche kayak? No, only <laughs> canoe. Okay. Uh, Shannon, that's chimed in, said she, she. She. I'm sorry. It said Shannon. I apologize. He said that he um, uses the um, N2 Pro, loves it. And that he loves our stream. So, 
Um, also, that he had a wallet with a GPS tracker and didn't see it for two months. Wow. Wow. Right. But where did it end up being? Like, where was it hidden? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He must drive a minivan, maybe. The, but yeah, if you ever get a phone, I mean, we all have different opinions on it. Nick wants to take care of it right away. I say I wait till I'm done for the other night because I want to make money. I don't want to spend chasing you. Now, I have done that. I have returned it in the middle of the night. Well, I remember someone, I don't know if it was between us four and our larger group too yeah. but they actually went in to the restaurant after they dropped off the rider went back and brought the phone to the rider went into what restaurant like when it might have been justin I'm yeah i don't know but do you remember the last story we told this was just before we the last the last podcast of last year when me and justin were out driving somebody forgot a phone in justin's car yeah that's the one yeah. I was saying. And, and then um I picked up the same party that night at, at and you made the swap. At, well, we did the swap, yeah, the in, swap. In, in the alley, in the alley, <laughs> in the dark alley. <laughs> Justin <laughs> says it was keys. Yeah, it was keys. Yeah, yeah. Well, swear. either way, <laughs> no, it wasn't keys. It was a, it was an iPhone. Justin, you're wrong. It was an iPhone. <laughs> Hashtag Justin needs to be in the studio. <laughs> it's true, Justin. Uh, you can come join us next maybe time. It was, maybe it wasn't Justin. Maybe it hey, was. Hey, guess what, Justin? Anyways. We got the microphone, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the screen right now. I just put it on producer Ben. I just wanted to put a quick shout out to my wife because that uh, morning that the person showed up at our doorstep looking for their phone because they tracked it to our house, to the car, um, my wife handled it because I was sleeping still. And uh, I heard the door knock that woke me up and I walked out into the kitchen and she's like, some Uber passenger from last night left his phone in your car. Uh, I told him that uh, he's not supposed to just show up. He's supposed to file a claim through the app. And uh, I told him it's not very polite to show up at an Uber driver's house uh, that morning without notice. So my wife, the badass, just took care of it and uh, it was pretty awesome. So. Way to go, Andy. If That's anyone, a shout out for my wife. Any from thank you, Ben. Anyone from our team can post the link to that camera. That'd be great. Uh, no one, it's not on there. So, Larry said he's taking a phone back to a customer in a hotel. I mean, I'm all for bringing it back. It's just I, if it's busy, I don't want to. What am I going to make? I'm making at a minimum. I'm making fifteen dollars uh, on that return fee. But if it's surging, do you really want to return the phone? I literally will turn the phone off immediately. Um and do my thing. And if I get some downtime, I might turn it on and try to call. But everyone has their own opinion on it. Right. Just bottom line, if you have it and you know you have it, you should get rid of it before you go home. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and again, we all know why we turn it off, right? Because there's all the trackers in there right yeah. now. And people are, people are able to track their own phone, which is good. So if you lose your phone, you can do that. But do not show up at somebody's home and and bring the police and say that they stole it because you're the idiot who forgot it in the car. Well, honestly, <laughs> if you are going to show up at someone's house, bring the police and say, hey, this ride driver has it. Can you just come with me just to be... Well, at least be courteous about it. Right, because... Yeah. Why you, do you need to get the police involved? Well, But don't show up at the door, then. My point is, if you're going to show up at someone's uh, house... Because sure. it's a $1,000 phone. Yeah, I mean, call... Call the police and say, hey, I know this guy didn't steal it, but I really need it back. Can you come with me to this guy's house mm. so he doesn't freak out? Maybe have the police be first contact. Sure. You know, well, well, let's not forget about the mechanism that's built into the app. Okay? They can get through it to the website. But some people but don't But if you're care. sleeping, you're not going to hear Yeah, your you're phone. not going to hear it till the morning. No, but I'm not going to give them the phone back anyways. Right. I guess what I was going to say is if you come to my house at 3 in the morning, A, I'm going to be on the phone with the cops. B, I'm going to be resting my shotgun on my shoulder. And look, C, he, Andy he's going to have no guns. pants on. And, yeah, I will have no pants on. I will have just my underwear, and I'll be sticking through the blinds of the, the end of the shotgun. I won't open the door because you know, I'm not coming to the door. You're at 3 in the morning. Are you all picturing me in my yes. underwear right now? No, no. Is it, I am. Is it weird to anyone that we switch sides to? I just wondered. You know, I noticed that, and I was like, whoa, what's going on Well, here? the problem was is the mics were already on that side. I'm like, I'm not switching the mics. He was lazy, as <laughs> always. Clearly, I screwed up the tech again. You know, I only spent four hours down here tonight working. Well, tonight and this morning, so <laughs> jerks. Very effective time use. No pants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tons of guns. <laughs> I love Ben's hashtags. Okay, moving on. So bottom line, uh, return the item that day or night. Don't hang on to it. You're going to have trouble. 
Uh, All right. The next tip comes from the Uber Hustle uh, Facebook page. I just took over. I know. And then you fumbled it. <laughs> yeah, well. Recovery. You know, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. All right. I think someone has said this before, but maybe I need to say it again for everyone complaining that it's slow. The veteran drivers, that's us. It's not referencing us in this post, but, you know. They know January is the slowest month of the year. It's nothing new. I'm thinking the rookies are the ones complaining. Learn to understand the hustle. I couldn't agree more. It's the same thing, though. You get new drivers on the forums, you know, asking the same questions. You know, it's it's repetitive. And you get a lot of new drivers because they want to come on for New Year's Eve. They're pushing their application through to get on for that. Or maybe going back to what you said, you know, the drivers BSing you. Maybe they BS one of their riders to get them to sign up. Yeah. And- yeah. It's slow in every gig, anything. It's slow in retail. It's slow in. Um, I do. Everyone's recovering from Christmas and New Year's Eve. Well, and- yeah, and you're getting your your everyone's getting their credit card bills and seeing how much they spent on Christmas, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I can't go out." So it's dead as bananas. And I know it's frustrating to us, but we do have to look at the newer people that are commenting about it. Might not know. It's hard not. To, ben said uh, earlier, it's hard not to be snarky. You're like, seriously, dude. Like, this is this isn't rocket science. It's after the holidays. It's slow as hell. Oh, yeah, and if you're in any of the groups, there is a search bar at the very top of the page that you can click, type in anything you want to know about, and guaranteed it's probably been discussed. So just in defense of that search bar, or not defense of it and hating of it, it's very clunky. and It, it is, and, but And, and it's if there. you search the word the, which I know you shouldn't search the word the. <laughs> Why would you search the word the? Shut up. <laughs> But anything that's semi-common, if you search Uber driver, if you search driver, or if you searched, um, I don't know. It's just you go. Th- you can go through a lot of stuff. Well, but a lot of them are specific questions, which that's what you would search for would be that specific question you had. True. You wouldn't be typing, duh. Okay. It was just an example. <laughs> so real quick before we're moving on, Andrew from Facebook said he had keys left and he didn't get paid or get a tip. And again... Andrew, just remember again, you can go back on the ride and file a forgot item fee. Yeah. Do you know how to do that, Andrew? Um, it's, I, you know. Find, find your trip, go under the trip and search for help. And then, you, you know, find the right idea time. here, we should, we should provide some of those videos. I mean, literally, it'll take two phones to record how to, yeah. although you have no, to. You can do one, you can do the screen record. Yeah, but it doesn't have any audio with oh, it. Oh, that is true. Yeah. yeah. I think of that. But yeah, we. But we we again we are taking ideas on on what new content. What's going to on, create. Ben? <laughs> title. I'm trying to get rid of it. Title. It won't let me take it off. So basically, I was going to put the in big letters. Basically, what we can do for you guys is we can make videos showing you how to do all those things. Yeah, we should you know? do that. It was just kind of kind of a uh, hiring a new producer. <laughs> Keep talking. Talk amongst yourselves. It's frozen. No, it's is it? way to go, Ben. You, you can't click on settings. All right, moving oh, really? on um, to our next question. Nope. Yep. This one makes Trying me extremely into, uh, upset. Maybe y'all can educate me on something, but at the airport, why do drivers park halfway out in the middle of the lot with oh, their dude. nose of their car sticking oh, out and like damn near that. leave a whole car's length behind them? Does it make you look cool or something? Yes, for how do you feel about this subject? I don't even understand what it means. Okay, when in the parking lot, when people park like jackasses and take up, you know, three, four spaces. Oh, but that that goes in any parking lot. Well, <laughs> not, yeah, not, not just Wendy's. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still annoying, and think right. you know, you have those emblems on your vehicle stating you're from those companies, working for those companies. You would think you'd want a positive image on oh, sure. Uh, yeah, so we're having a little trouble with the live stream. It kind of locked up. So the word title T is on there. I don't know. Hashtag save Ben. Um, so in regards to that tip, just don't be a douche kayak in the parking lot. <laughs> I mean, respect your work. That's your workplace. Right. Pick up your trash. Yeah. You know what Uber Phil said to me today? And I never even thought of this, that Wendy's has a contract with Uber to park there. That's what he told me. I know the owner's son uses it all the time. 
He and, even brought that up. Yeah, and he drives the uh, black oh, black SUV, but he uses it Uber all the time to go to and from the airport. Okay. So, to my understanding, I did not hear anything of a contract or anything. I don't know. But... It doesn't surprise me because why aren't they kicking us out of that parking lot? I mean, there, there were 20 think, cars there today. Think of how much business we give them. Well, I know their toilets get used a lot. Yeah. But, but my point was is how treat your workplace – excuse me, your office, with respect. Phil and I were talking about the Detroit uh, airport. porta potties The yeah. porta potties And at one point, I don't know who brought them there, but they took the porta potties away because they were misusing them. And the Lyft brought them in. There's notes all over. Please be respectful. They're finding poop on the side of the, the inside of it. I'm like, what are you doing? Maybe they it, need to install cameras in the porta potties I mean... <laughs> There was a fundraiser. One of the guys in the Detroit group was actually started a GoFundMe to put at least lights in there, like LED lights, which I thought was kind of cool. At least he's trying to improve it. But literally, it's a toilet with a hole. Stick your butt on it. Go to the bathroom. Why is there poop on the wall? You pee sitting down, don't you? I do a lot, actually, especially in the morning. (laughs) Okay. Moving on. All right. Uh, Next up, uh, the question. Jesper, why don't you take this one? Okay. Oh, boy, it's a long one for his Danish mouth. you want to take the next one? No, look at it on your screen. Get off my screen. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> so the, the reason why Nick keeps doing this is because I'm temporarily not driving for Lyft. And that's a different story. Oh, I didn't for, even think of that. That makes oh, it even better. Dang. That's a different thanks, story yes, for a different, different time. So uh, the question. I have been driving for Lyft for two months, and I just got approved for Uber. Long story on why it took so long. Are there any tips, tricks for running both apps simultaneously? Do you all use split screen or which app do you prefer in the fore and background? Now, I do understand. I do think that only um, only Androids can do split screens, right? Yeah. I yes. tried it a couple of times. It doesn't really work very well for me. Um, when I do a split screen, uh, I was doing split screen between Uber and a uh, music program. The but iPad again, Air can do split screen. Okay. Or the okay. Pro. The yeah, pro. pro or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's like a fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So, but um, we have used some apps in the past that'll do some some uh, s- uh, some switching for us, and with mixed results. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names. There's several out there that will do it, but um, but we, I, you know, I were not uh, when I was driving for both. I were not doing any app. I was doing it manually, right. and I thought it was working just fine. I was running both apps on one phone. Uh, I know, uh, uh, Jason, you're running it on two different devices. Yeah, uh, I, uh, which also works just fine. It it does it 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 gives you a half a second to a second longer to look at what's going on on both platforms. And if you have an Uber ride, like my tablet's on, I can see what's going on on Lyft. Not that there's a lot going on on Lyft, or vice versa. <laughs> I can right. run a Lyft on my tablet and see what the Uber surge is at. Um, so yeah, I recommend, I mean, just get a tablet with the data plan on right. it. Um, it's super cheap, 10 bucks a month, I think. Then there's a follow up to that question is you uh, was not giving me voice navigation instructions, even though I have voice nav turned on, try and reinstall the Uber app. So, it's, it's super, it's, it's sometimes it can be pretty, um, pretty difficult. And it does help to know what device you're on. If you're right. on iOS or Android, there are some different tips. There is something you can check, too. When you're on a ride and you see a little microphone on the screen, if you click on that and you have it muted, even if you have voice uh, turn-by-turn directions on, you won't hear it if that's muted. Oh. Right. Yep. Where is that on the screen? I want to say <laughs> bottom right or top right. It's always on there? Yes. Oh. Jeez. Terrible ride chair driver <laughs> over here. So you might have accidentally muted that at some point, and that's why you're not hearing the voice, you know, turn by turn directions. Okay, that's a good. And you know, um, actually, the uh, got a couple extra questions that we can touch up. But the ride share guy recommends, and he's the, I'll, I'll give him the credit for them that it, which makes sense. He says always hard reset your phone before you go on drive to clear the cache. I think that's what it does when you hard reset it. It kind of clears all yeah. the temporary files or whatnot. I don't know. But I know that when my phone screws up, um, the uh, a hard reset will do it. So um, David talks about how do you feel about the Uber shooter in Detroit? I think he might mean Kalamazoo. Yeah, I think, I, think he he, I was going to say, yeah, because I didn't hear about the one. Not that we're the end-all, be-all, but I didn't hear about There was one in Detroit, too, though. 
recently? No, no, not that recently. But there was one. I remember being in Arizona, Detroit as well. Hmm. Um, yeah, Larry, if you have a link on that or a news article, please post it. Oh, is this the one where the driver held the guy at gunpoint? Possible. And then let's see. I keep seeing Uber gives directions, Justin. <laughs> His other question was, while we look up the uh, Uber shooter in Detroit, how do you feel about drivers who shut their apps off and do cash jobs? Okay. Well, let's get comfortable. Um, (laughs) How do I feel about drivers that do it regularly? I think it's a dumb move. Have I done it? I think everyone has done it. Yes. The last time I did it, I was waiting for a ride and... The door was unlocked. It was earlier in the night, so I do unlock it a little bit earlier if it's not super bar closed. And she jumped in, and I said, what's your name? And she let's just say it was Kim. I'm like, all right, let's go. And then I verified the address. Two Kims, you know, or two of the same name. So she got out and walked away. And it had been – I'd been waiting for the other one for a while. She runs back and says, I'll give you 40 bucks. I'm in East Grand Rapids. I said, okay. Yep. And I canceled the other ride and took the 40 bucks. So, so I think the huge difference, I mean, that scenario, perfectly fine. I think when you get an Uber ride and you're like, hey, let's do this off, off app cash ride. Never. You know, I've no. never done that. I think I, that's the big issue. Right. You know, I usually say when they say that, I'm like, dude, it's going to be an $8 ride. If you want to tip me I, with cash, great. But I'm not going to, I'm not shutting it off. I was or, talking more so dry on the driver's side. Because there are drivers who do that, who say, oh, Uber's going to charge you X amount of dollars. Let's oh, do it for this amount. Yeah, I don't recommend that at all. No. And I, I've never done that. And remember, certainly do not do it if you don't have um, additional insurance. You need commercial moment, insurance. The moment you turn that app off, you're not protected at all by Uber or Lyft. Or your own personal insurance. Well, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, David was talking about the Kalamazoo one. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the case is done. He pled guilty. Uh, we talked about it earlier in the stream um, before the word title was on there. Um, but uh, Thanks sorry. for the love. <laughs> sorry, it was getting a little quiet over there. You know, I would switch <laughs> to the producer band cam, but I can't do anything in the X split. Yeah. It's We're just lucky to up. have a the live stream streaming. still going. Yeah, that's why I said let's not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he, he not only shot, but shot and killed. Uh, yeah, it's very strange, David. I The guy had no criminal history. I think he was going through the divorce at a time or something. Like, he just snapped. Right. Um, so, yeah, he pled guilty. So, hopefully, don't ever have to see his ugly face again. Larry says that, you know, pushing a little bit away, he got burned on a cash ride. He got paid with counterfeit money. That's, of course, Holy crap. That, of course, that another horrible. risk you're so running that way. Pissed. Right. That's the <clears> worst. <throat> I've never had I've never had counterfeit money. Have you ever? Well, you might have, and you just didn't know. That's true. But you, know? you always worry when you go and use a bigger bill, and they're gonna swipe, swipe it. Swipe it. Yep. I always feel a excuse. Well, me. Well, some gas stations even do it with ten dollars. Oh, $5 I was gonna now. say twenties. Oh, yeah. I think it depends on where what areas they're yeah, in. No kidding. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. I know certain uh, areas in, in Chicago. I don't want to get off the highway. <laughs> David said, "Why would you?" I take... won't go into that story. <laughs> <laughs> David asked, "Why would you take the risk when?" you do that you leave no insurance i mean do you shouldn't the ride chair i mean this is not i can't answer this but shouldn't the ride chair extra cover your yes, butt if you have the commercial ride chair insurance you should be fine let's 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 rephrase that it's eh, not commercial insurance it's not well, it's a it's rider a, it's on your endorsement plan. but the endorsement says you are allowed to do use your vehicle for livery or whatever they call that. But you're not technically doing livery because you're doing it not on... Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you, you are. are getting paid you're getting for paid for, for it just because you're not using an app. It don't matter how you're doing it. Hey, honestly, I have a question. Um, or I don't have a question. Hey, honestly, I might have an answer. <laughs> honestly, I will send an email to Jeff or I think his name... Oh, I'm sorry. If you listen to this, he won't. Brian at Farmers um, and ask. That's a, actually a good question. Um, I don't know. I mean, are you covered? Jesper says yes. Nick says no. I say no. I say I don't know. Um, Ben's trying to look it up on progressives. They're not going to tell you that on their website. It's probably a huge gray area. Would be my guess. No, for progressive, it's only when you're on the app. Like it's specifically apps. That's what I thought it was. But so 
You mean if for period one? Yes. yes. So that's basically it covers you from driving around just aimlessly looking for rides. Yes. So, oh, you know what? I I I think I don't think you're covered. I I'm well, leaning towards the, keep the app on. Don't accept rides. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. And that's how you get kicked off Lyft. And, and that's <laughs> no, I'm talking about insurance <laughs> fraud. Wow. Insurance fraud. I'll I'll reach out to Jeff anyways. I it's a good question because I'd yes. like to post that in there. So man, we have so many comments I can't even keep up. <laughs> Nine I don't new see comments. Any, I don't see any comments. Uh, at least on my screen. Oh, um, Justin, McDon- does your dad live in the ghetto? McDonald's at my house does anything over a five dollar bill. Well, they got to earn that. Oh, I read my dad all. at my dad's house. <laughs> Really? <laughs> what? Where? I had a dyslexic moment. <laughs> At my dad's. Oh, you put the D in front of the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll find out, David. That's a good question. Uh, David, where are you from? Um, are you uh, Michigan or where are you in the country? Or are you in Australia or Canada? Burn, Justin says. All right. Uh, last thing. Buffalo, New York. Oh, cool. Nice. Buffalo, man, they get a lot of snow in Buffalo, New York. That's a nice vehicle, David. If that's your Uber drive, Uber, nice. What? Well, are you checking him out? Well, of course. Oh, you on his profile? <laughs> yeah, of course. You creeper. Is his name Paula? Oh, will you stop it? <laughs> yeah, I miss her. <laughs> oh man. The problem is we stream at nine, and it's like six p.m. There, she's probably still working or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hustling <laughs> with you guys, Jesper guys and Paula. Idiot, idiots. Elsie says, Lyft, after skipping two rides, says, you should pull over if you're tired. Really? I never uh, seen it. I've never had it after It's two probably because my acceptance rate is 100%. But she's probably, <laughs> she's, probably, <laughs> she's probably a full-time driver. Yeah, Elsie, where's Elsie from? I recognize that name. I think Grand Rapids. Is she from I Grand think. Rapids? Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, your, your guys isn't 100%? North Muskegon. North Muskegon. Mine's at uh, 4% usually. Yeah, mine's sometimes lower than that. Oh, my goodness. All right. The last question. I've been driving about two years, and I got an email from Checker, Uber Background Check Service, asking me for additional information, thoughts. Did you have any follow-up on that? Did you follow that thread? No, because I didn't care. No, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I was just curious. Um, I got notification I, I get that an it was email. checked, yeah, but, but nothing about Yeah, I got, I got that, too. I'm going to guess there's something off on his background check and his taxes. That would okay. be the only reason I could possibly think of them well, asking for more details. Well, let, let's go into that a little bit. I mean, there's been an awful lot of things going on uh, with with the whole Uber notification lately. I mean, all the tax notices you got and how the tax reports are com- completely way off. No, that's not a tax report. That's a spreadsheet well, created by Uber. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uber's email is that was way off. My guess is that doesn't include their booking fee or any of that stuff. Which, Hashtag intern. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, right, so but, I, I don't know that. Yeah, that thing was way off. Yeah, mine he? said from 2016, I've only done 300 rides to <laughs> yeah, now. That's awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, didn't. I didn't catch that. <laughs> Shannon's from Chicago. Yes. Chicago. Ben was Ben was just How there. do you feel about Cody Parkey? Who? The field goal kicker for the Bears. No, none of you watch sports? Hashtag. No. Yay, sports. Go sports. Score the points. Shoot the basket. I used to be really into sports, but I'm, I'm not I'm disappointed anymore. in all of you. Let's end the stream. <laughs> We're cutting it. Title and all. Oh, geez. Title T and all. Title T is our friend. You know that you're going to, that's going to be a huge theme for the next while until we get sick of teasing you about it. <laughs> yeah, T- I know. T. That's right. Title T. Hey, I was just trying to put the in big letters. My guess is that that computer, as good as it is, it was just overloaded with data. Apparently. And, and just went. We're lucky that we're still being streamed. Yeah, I and, know. Uh, Justin told me that every time I try to get the title to go away, it's dinging. So sorry about the dinging. I'm oh, sure there no. was probably a lot of that. <laughs> so, oh, well. My bad. So back to the background check. Yeah, I've gotten mine run, and it just sends you an email that says that they've checked it, but it never said. I, yeah, I got the email yesterday. I wish we would have got that guy's name. I'd like to follow up and see what what came of it. I know people, a couple people commented early you on. You know what? Like, I'm going to go into the Facebook group, use, use the search, search bar. bar and do it right it. now. Let's see how quick you can do it. That search bar sucks. Wait, I got to look at what group it was. We were in Lift Grand Rapids. So what is this uh, Uber driver shot dead during shift? Is that just like a... I know that's not what he was talking about, but 
Uh, oh, that was just the Detroit. Uh, that was the article I was finding about. The, oh, okay. The the Detroit uh, incident. So. Okay. All right. Well, well, Nick looks that up. You got anything else to add? Anyone excited about anything in our lives? I mean, we don't always have to talk about rideshare. Not really. No, you've got a boring <laughs> life. No. Uh, we're going to Venice Beach in Florida for spring break this year. Right. Nice. That's about it. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Nick's got a check engine light on that he's worried about. Could <laughs> yeah, be the could, ti- could oh, yeah. potentially be. I never heard the timing belt has a check engine light. It's a timing chain. It's chain? not a belt. Oh. And it's a ten- it's a tensioner, too. Pulley. Yeah, whatever. I, don't I, didn't, I didn't. I thought that was completely mechanical. I wouldn't think that had any electric. Um, I've got know. a check engine light, too, in my Traverse. Yeah, but yours isn't. Mine's simple. Yeah, well... Is it the oh, not is simple that? enough that okay. you're going to do it yourself. Look at this. Yeah. I found this real quick. Did you really? Yeah. What would you search? Uh, Bob Amy Fogel. Uh, that's his name. Anyways. No, no. His name is he, his wife and him have the same Facebook <laughs> Bob account. Share. Fogel. Gould. Fogel. Um, but I just literally punched in. I've been driving for about two years. And that popped up. Boom. Boom. Okay, but what's the follow-up? Oh, what do you want? To I do? don't care about that. I already read that. You didn't. You didn't show there, me anything. There was no follow up. There was no comments. <laughs> no. That's what I was asking about. I. You no literally just read That's what I no read. Comments. You literally just read what I read. Justin is excited for Winter Beer Fest. Yeah, that's the next big. I made more Winter Beer Fest than I did on New Year's Eve. Yes, Justin, in the Traverse. Traverse is. So when is Winter Beer Fest? Uh, uh, February. 23rd, 24th? I know last year I was in Pensacola. It's my birthday. What the heck? (laughs) Almost. Remember, uh, never thought you were driving a Yugo, Jesper? Or was that Lyft? No, that happened to me, too. Oh, it was you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who thought you were driving a Yugo? Uh, When I updated my uh, insurance or something, um, (laughs) they changed what my vehicle was. And it was was some type of Mexican car. (laughs) Spent New Year's in Chicago. Elsie did. You were there around New Year, not we, New Year's we Eve. We came back like the day uh, we before. Were there. You, were, you came back on Sunday. Okay, here's yeah. the uh, here's the About feedback. Time. It only took twenty minutes. He said, "All is well." I entered info like I was asked, and my all my credit information got stolen. No, I <laughs> no, I was like, "Oh, what a lame story." Uh, he got he got his report, and it's all clean. Okay, yeah, I, I'm assuming it was just a technical glitch. I mean, we know Uber never makes well. Mistakes. Maybe he wrote in there Bob Amy Fogel, and that's why. It was, oh, you know? it could be. <laughs> You're right. So. All right. So Winner Beer Fest is 22 and 23. Dang, I was close. Okay. Remember, last year, it actually was the 23rd and 24th because of the flooding. Yeah, it got pushed back to the next weekend, right? Yeah. 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 That was ridiculous. It flooded in February? Yep. Yep. Man. Everything. Everything melted. Yeah. Is that what happens when Mm -hmm. the snow melts? You get floods? (laughs) Never knew. You want to type that on the live stream? Hashtag flooding. Hashtag producers going home. Streams ending. Yeah, Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, we're talking ass. He could just be like, click, click, click. You're done. I'm well, going anyway, to mute you for it, the rest of the show. Yeah, yeah that's got true. He's got a lot head. of power. I mean, hey. he really can turn my mic off if he wants to. <laughs> yeah. We need to say welcome. If he knows what, what right. mic yes, I am. Sir, what's up? You say welcome to Yvette. Welcome, welcome Yvette. Yvette. Oh, Yvette. Where's <laughs> <laughs> my mic He really did turn it off. Turn it on. Ben, turn it on. <laughs> turn it. <laughs> I can have uh, a live stream right here too. There, oh, there it is. Back. All right. Hi, Avet. I recognize her name too. Uh, Avet. Yes. Hello. Hello. So yeah, we are all done. Thank you guys. Um, someday we'll have a stream. That is perfect. No, we won't. It's you're, not no, supposed to be is, perfect. You're no, because right. we're going to keep is, upgrading our stuff, and we're going to keep running into more issues. You're right. Issues. Every, so a year from now, we'll be good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone write this it down. Is, this is part of the charm. This is why you all love us. 2020, we will be perfect. That just sounds <laughs> weird. 2020. Doesn't it? We'll be out Like of 2020 the, perfect vision. That you don't have. Oh, I'll be 30 <laughs> in 2020. Just throwing that out there. Clearly, he doesn't have title T. <laughs> Did you say 30? Yep, 30 oh, years old. 30 gosh, so in 2020? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. You guys will be, what, 60 and 50? <laughs> no. Shut up. He's only a year older than me. I'll be 29. <laughs> yeah. With a voice crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Ben, you can kill it. Thank you guys so yeah, much. Thanks, we'll guys. see you in a couple weeks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.